Danny Lightning back and this is part three for EQ class for voiceover. So in the first video we talked about high pass and low pass. Then we talked about getting rid of the muddy and the boxy frequencies. Today we're going to be adding presence and air if needed. If your microphone is really bright or really high pitched, this may not be something you need to do. We'll talk about how to fix that in a different video if that's the case. So if your recording is sounding a little bit dark or there's some music in the background and you think your voice doesn't quite stand out enough, what you're going to do is come over to your equalizer, write about 3000 hertz, make a 2 decibel boost. And then you're going to move that between 2000 and 4000 until you find the sweet spot. How do you know when you found the sweet spot? A really good set of headphones or studio monitors and a really good ear. Normally I go with about a one and a half or a two decibel boost right around 3000. And if, if there's music in the background or something that really makes my voice pop out and stand out more. If you're using this style of EQ, we're going to come over here to our high mid range frequency. The first thing we're going to do is set that to around 3000 KHZ or K stands for thousand, HZ stands for Hertz. So that's 3000 Hertz. We're going to adjust our Q to about 1.5. That always seems like a pretty good place to start. And then we're going to boost this by about two to three decibels. Now what we're going to do is take our Hertz or KHZ and we're going to move that up and down a little bit and we're going to talk and listen and we're going to find a spot that really pops out. Again, somewhere between 2000 and 4000 is normally where you're going to set this for a presence boost. Once you have that set, you can always just adjust your Q a little bit to really dial that in to get that perfect amount of presence boost so you're only getting the frequencies you want in there. So I always start off at 1.0 and then I just kind of boost it by about two decibels. And then, like I said, just kind of adjust that cue until you find a right, just the right amount of frequencies right there. So somewhere about 1.0, 1.5, 1 1.2 is always a really good place to start. So that gives you a really good idea of how to add that presence. Now we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of those air frequencies in, which can really make things sound nice. But remember, if your microphone's already overly bright, these are things you may or may not want to do. You can always play around with it, but... I'm going to come over to right around 10,000 hertz. I'm going to boost this by two to three decibels. And this one's actually going to be a high shelf. Let me turn this off really quick. So that's what a high shelf looks like, right? It's basically just a shelf and not a curve. So make a high shelf at 10,000, boost that up by two, maybe three decibels, maybe even four decibels, just to get an idea of what that sounds like. And then you're going to just kind of, kind of move that back and forth between 10,000 and 15,000 hertz until you get the sound that you like. And then you can come over here and adjust your cue to, you know, grab a little more, a little less of those high end frequencies until you're happy with it. So bottom line is, I mean, that's really all there is to it for adding some presence and some air. If you're using this style of EQ, bottom line, all you got to do is choose your frequency. So we'll set that to around 13,000. We'll boost that by one or two or three decibels and we're good to go. Now, if you want that to be a bell curve instead of a high shelf, normally you've got some buttons over here you can press to change that around. Well, on this type of EQ, it's almost always already set up as a high shelf. So all you got to do, pick the frequency, pick, pick how much you want to boost it and bam, you are good to go. So these are the basics. We've got our high pass filter. We got a couple of cuts in here to get rid of boominess, muddiness, boxiness. We got our presence boost and we've got our air boost and bam, voila, you've got a really nice sounding basic EQ. Now we will have some more videos on this playlist coming up for like, if you got that nasally sound going one day, we're going to try and figure out how to EQ that out. Cause some days, some microphones, I don't know, sometimes you might sound a little nasally. So we will show you how to fix that in an upcoming video. And we're going to show you how to find and remove bad frequencies in an upcoming video as well. And then we'll also show you how to fix a microphone that's sounding too high pitched. So there's going to be the next three videos on this playlist. So that's pretty much the basics, guys. We got our high pass filter. We can either boost or lower the bass around 100 hertz ish. We can come over here around four or 500 hertz, lower that if we want to get rid of some mud. We can add a presence boost somewhere between, you know, 2000 and 4000, then that add our air somewhere between 10 and 15,000. And that's pretty much a basic EQ. Remember, everybody's voice is different. Everybody's microphone and room acoustics are different. So you can't just take my settings exactly and be like, bam. But, you know, if you watch my whole series here, you're going to know how to adjust these things to, you know, fix different things or change different things as you need it. 
The sad part is there's about a million people out there on YouTube and they all say it boosts the heck out of the treble, boosts the heck out of the bass, pull the mids way down, and next thing you know, you've got something that sounds like this and they're telling you this is the best EQ for everybody. This works for everybody. Just set it like this and you're good to go. Guys, that is not how you want to be setting your EQs. That will ruin your audio and make you sound awful. So be very careful who you take EQ advice from on YouTube because a lot of these guys think there's one setting that's going to work for everybody and there's not. So basically when you're doing EQ, you're only wanting to do some very small changes, right? We want to make some cuts or boosts that fix problems or just make our voice sound that much better. If your voice doesn't sound awesome on the original recording, there may be a problem that you need to fix in your room somewhere. We're not trying to change the way our microphone sounds. We're just trying to sweeten it up a little bit or remove a couple of unwanted frequencies or room problems. So when you're done EQing, if it ends up looking something like this, you know you did something wrong. It should look more like this. Very small, little subtle changes just to sweeten it up and fix any room problems. All right, well, I think that's going to wrap this one up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you if you enjoy this type of content, hey, hit that little like or subscribe button right below the video. I try to make videos to help you guys out. So help me out, like, and subscribe. And if you drop down the video's description, you'll see my other YouTube channels, my Discord server, some affiliate links to some really cool cameras, microphones, lighting, VST plugins, and all kinds of good stuff. So, hey, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. I hope you enjoyed this. And, hey, There'll be a couple more videos on this playlist to come. So hope you guys enjoy those too. Lighten it out. Have a great day. See ya.